By the way, Mary, is the actions pattern actually a thing? Have you seen anything on your resource that looks like the action pattern is actually something on the books or or not? Excited to have Mary here. Uh, what's up, Mary? How you doing? Pretty good. How is it going? I want to ask you, like, if you had the same feeling as I had when I first learned about these action patterns. So my overall feeling when I first studied this topic was there's a few of them which I was already doing them without even knowing. One example would be the factory pattern, which I was already kind of doing it, but I have never thought about literally naming like uh, a class named Car Factory. Did you also have the same feeling with this or not really? Definitely. Um, I always think that's a little bit validating if I come across like an architecture with a name or a pattern with a name, that's something that I already understand. And mm -hmm. I think that the best part of design patterns is being able to talk about an idea, whether you figured it out or had to learn it, um, like quickly, just by bringing up the name. I think it's a really good way to communicate, especially in code. Like if you name something a factory pattern, mm -hmm. um, like a car factory pattern, then people pretty much know what you're trying to do before they even start reading the body of the class. Yes, this is actually my favorite pattern. Um, and oh. in Laravel, if it was a little bit this is a less complicated example, but the query builder in Laravel is such an excellent example of this pattern because you can do really complicated things with SQL without even really having to think about it. This is exactly how I have worked with the builder pattern. So I think we are kind of in the same page. And just as kind of doing a parallelism, uh, talking about the query builder of Laravel, as Mary said, like Laravel framework implements a lot of patterns just like this one, and one of those patterns is literally the Query Builder. So in Laravel, something you can do, it's literally this, doing something like this. User, and then type something like uh, Query, which is where the ID is one, but also uh, other types of queries if I want to. So when you, when you guys are doing something like where this and where that, it's not that different from what Mary just bring to us, which is send the condiments, set the toppings. And at the end, we have get while Mary has the cook. So I feel like, I feel like this is just a perfect example. So every time you guys at home have an example, which just looks exactly like this. You are kind of preparing your final object. I feel like you guys can call or suffix this will the builder. My favorite parts about design patterns is how quickly they let us express ideas or um, read new code. Uh, there's been studies actually that show that there are some patterns that really speed up a developer's ability to read um, source code or shared code. But I wow. think that the purpose is to express solutions that have worked before. Um, and a lot of the the same things like um, decreasing complexity, decreasing coupling, um, those kind of things you'll find again and again because developers have found that they work over and over. So a lot of it kind of does look similar. A lot of interfaces get inherited. There's a lot of abstract classes that turn into concrete classes, like those kind of things help mm -hmm. reduce complexity across an application. I totally agree with you that using patterns literally speeds up not only the doing, but also the understanding of the code. Like if I were to see builder, like a class being suffixed builder, it would speak to me immediately that this is building something behind the scenes. And I can just literally uh, somehow at the end call some sort of method, which is literally fired the, the cooking process literally. And my favorite design pattern is the actions pattern. And you guys know, I've been talking about that deal all the time on, on my live streams. By the way, Mary, is the actions pattern actually a thing? Have you seen anything on your resource that looks like the action pattern is actually something on the books or, or not? Yes, it is. It's Let's just go. in the gang of four book. <laughs> in the gang of four book, it's called the strategy pattern. So I got really confused. I, it's called the command pattern. Sorry, strategy is oh, different. Command, yeah, pattern. command pattern. Interesting. Yeah, it took me a while to find it. A lot of these patterns actually have like AKA names, like second names, like uh -huh. uh, an iterator is also known as a cursor. Um, but yeah, it's not the official name, but it is in the Gang of Four book. Oh my God. I, I have been using something that was studied in the past. I thought I was in inventing something, but it's I'm not. I'm not. It's literally something that already exists. And Mary, what is your design pattern, your favorite one? It, it's the builder pattern. It is the that's builder one? Why that's why you, with this, that's yeah. why you went with the first one? Oh my God. The real differences between the factory pattern 
versus something like the builder pattern, right? Is that from from ev from everything you have showed so far, I feel like the builder pattern is literally to specify one by one how do I want my object to be. However, the factory pattern is like a single way of building that given object, right? Am I right? Yes. Um, it's just like if you know that there's a group of objects that you might have to reach for and you're not quite sure what a user is going to need at a given time, then the factory pattern decouples a lot of um, that code. A really good example of the factory pattern, um, there's actually two types of factory pattern in the Game mm -hmm. of Four book. There's the abstract and the concrete. So this would be a haphazard example of a concrete pattern and that actually makes the object. But you could also have an abstract factory pattern that makes factories, mm. just in case you need them. Gotcha. Um, and in Laravel, Socialite, the Socialite driver, mm -hmm. um, is a really good example of an abstract factory pattern. And then it makes instances of connections based on the OAuth authentication token and what service a user needs and what kind of login they need gotcha. um, that wraps the token. Um, so that's kind of a, a cool difference between, like, do you have to build a query and know um, what raw SQL you need to add, like where clauses under the hood versus um, do you need a whole um, authentication with error handling, exceptions, your token, like all the lifetime information um, on the fly, and you're not sure if someone's going to use GitHub um, sign on or your app sign in or Google sign in, you know? Mm. If I were to use something like uh, Builder, for example, uh, let's go here and type something like Burger Builder. And then new burger builder, and you would do something like add cheese, add tomato, whatever, and then build me the burger. So this would be literally the builder, the builder factor, the builder pattern. Sorry. However, something a little bit different is what exactly we have shown today to us, which is the burger factory. Which is instead of being this, you would just provide kind of the configuration or the configuration type, or the type of burger, right? And this would immediately return the burger back without any type of building options, right? And then you would obviously eat the burger if the burger was good enough. Interesting. Going to a facade, asking for a driver is immediately the factory pattern. However, using something like Query Builder, it's a little bit like the builder pattern, which you are defining exactly how you want your SQL query to be. I feel this is very clear to me. And thank you so much, Mary, for coming with these two examples. Because I, if you were to ask me, like, what is the difference between factory pattern and builder pattern, I probably wouldn't know the answer. Because as I was telling you, like, um, sometimes I use this stuff, but I just forget the names, you know? Mary, thank you so much. I'm going to hang up the call and continue the live stream. I hope to see you soon, okay? Thanks for coming in for Same. this very cool experience with you. Thank you so much.